I'm Dr. Cynthia Horner. I am a chiropractor, a family chiropractor, and a cranial sacral therapist. Grant is here today to help me demonstrate for you just how I adjust young children. Most children don't come to me with symptoms, back pain or neck pain, but they come just to have their spine checked to make sure that we are stabilizing their nervous system. All right, Grant, if you'll stand up, we're going to check your posture first. And I do this by checking several things. One of them is I check posture. We check that the head is aligned straight in the body, that the shoulders are even, not rolled forward. And I teach moms how to check postures also. We check for hips, and we check for the feet for foot flare. Thank you, Grant. If you'll come on up and lie on my table, on your back, with the back of your head, looking up. We also check for muscle tone, which means one side may demonstrate a short leg, or some weak muscles. I'm going to have you hold your leg up and out right there and you just hold it. Don't let me push it down. Hold. Good job. And relax. Hold your leg up and out. Don't forget we have to go out first. Out. And hold. Don't let me push it down. Good job. And relax. Now two hands straight up in the air. You're going to hold them right there. You don't push them together. You just hold them right there. And hold. Nice job and relax. We often check for deep tendon reflexes that also give us good information about the nervous system. And Grant's a little unstable on his left side. And we'll have you sit up, turn this way, and the last thing we check is eye movements because eyes are a window into the brain. You okay looking at me? We're going to have you look at my thumb. Remember, I drew a little picture on my thumb there so you can see it. You're not going to move your head, but just your eyes. Let me show everybody how we do it. Good job. All right, we're ready for the adjustment. Let's have you lie on your back. In case of Grant, I'm going to start by adjusting his feet because it's got the least, least impact on his brain. So we're going to start with a little bit of a foot adjustment, and I do that by pulling on his toes. And adjusting here in the joints of his foot. Sometimes I use my activator, a little handheld instrument, to help back up the small adjustments. You can lie your head back so you're comfortable. And adjust the, the knee joint to affect these muscles, a little fast stretch on these muscles. Good. And then still not having a big impact on his brain, not as much as the spine, is adjusting the extremity. So I'm going to adjust his fingers. His wrist. And his elbow. Now, if you'll turn over face down, let's take a look at your spine. So roll onto your stomach. Once again, to test muscle tone, we bend the legs. Grant has a little... to the muscle tone holding his pelvis. If you'll turn on your side, Grant, facing me, like you're sleeping, looking at me. Here, right in there, two hands over here. There we go. And wrap them up. Bottom leg goes straight, top leg bends. And I usually take my finger with young children and just place it on the vertebrae. Relax the shoulder and give a little push. All right? And if you will... Lie face down again on your stomach. And moving up his spine. All right, Grant, if you'll sit right here. All right, and if you'll stand. I am going to adjust some vertebrae in Grant's neck. And to do that, we use a little special piece called the Webster toggle piece. It's a nice, easy, gentle way to adjust children. Step forward a little bit. All right. Look 
straight ahead. We're going to place this on Grant's ear, set it, and give it a little press. And one more. Good job. All right, Grant, if you'll stand right there, I will recheck your posture. Look at me, hands at your side, stand up, and look straight ahead. Good job. Look at my thumb. Eyes only. This was good, Mom. We're seeing additional food in here. Right at that thumb. Right at that thumb. Real nice. Thank you.